All right, J.D., let's check out your first run here at Stratton. Um, I know you were obviously were a little disappointed and probably scratching your head. Uh, what happened? Um, well, I think you just took a really conservative round high line. Um, didn't see that as much on South Bowl. But um, something we got to be aware of and, and work on. Yeah, I think you gave this course way too much respect. Um, and I think it's something that's, uh, you, you, can, you can fix this, uh, you know, somewhat uh, easily. Um, but let's check it out. Now, this has got nothing to do with respect. This is just, uh, you know, leaning in. Coming through here, you got weight on the inside ski. That ski runs on you. Um, so we got to just make sure we transfer the weight through the transition to the new outside ski and pressure that one, stand on that one. He rolls them both up here. He's He is balanced over the outside ski. Ski hooks up right there, comes through. You're obviously on your inside ski that most of that turn. Alright, so bottom line is, you know, he takes a, a more direct line. Um, he doesn't need as much room above the rise line. In order to get the turn done and still have direction done by the panel, he comes through and you really, you know, to, to do that, you have to really hammer the turn, meaning really come in and, and, and roll it up and stand on it and, and really pressure it to bend the ski. You know, he wants, he's making short, powerful arcs. Um, so, because you can see kind of where you are using the blue lines. You know, you can see he's it's much tighter in, I don't know, four, four or five feet maybe. But he still hammers the turn right here, starts to turn here, and still gets it done. He's got direction done, kind of slipped there, but he's got direction done by the panel. And so do you. Um, but you just took this much bigger, rounder line to get more or less at the same place. We always want to be kind of, you know, forget, forgetting about him falling over there a little bit, but we want to be tight to the panel with, with direction done. He just got there a whole lot quicker. And we'll see better examples down here. Kind of lost. Well, lost you because you're taking a round line, I guess. So here comes in here. You know, still intersects rise line with the skis pointing out and away from the panel a bit, brings some shape back, but is very tight to the panel clearly with direction done. He's heading off to the new gate area. You're just so much more round. Going across the hill to end up in the same place. Kind of see where you are based versus what, what he did. He came through here, still has direction done right at the panel. You're, you're way over there to, to kind of get the same end result. So here, let's take a look at the blue line. He comes through, intersects rise line. He's in rise line there. Ski's still pointing in a way. Brings shape back to the panel. But where is he relative to, to the blue line? And 
I don't, uh, you're five, six feet probably outside past it, bringing shape back and, you know, being relatively tight to the panel in the direction done. And so is he. He's just didn't need as much real estate to end up in the same spot. But, you know, he is, that's why he won. Um, something, you know, I've mentioned to you at times, we've got to give our feet room. This is just an example as a side note here. You can see how much room he gave his feet. Look at this outside foot. You know, relative to the panel is, uh, I don't know, six feet off. And that allowed him for a, a pretty strong angulated position by the panel. If that foot was, you know, three feet or two feet or whatever, if the outside foot was where the inside one was, is, right here, uh, his, all of a sudden, his, his, um, you know, angulated position would be like this, as opposed to this. Uh, so he gets his feet out from underneath them, really can roll them up higher, the higher edge angle, the, the quicker the turn is going to come around. And that's he needs it because he, he's making short, powerful arcs in less real estate. He has to have a high edge angle. And he's got to really pressure and bend the ski. So it's going to be kind of more of the same, just talking about, you know, tightening up that line. Um, and we got to play with it in training. Got to come in and, and, you know, intersect rise line, maybe a bit lower. Um, not give yourself quite as much room, but still have your skis pointed a bit away from the panel, maybe not as far away. You come in here and your, your, your skis are pointed way over that way, and his are more this way. And he still brings back enough shape to the panel such that he has direction done passing it. But you're obviously taking a, a, a much rounder line. So obviously all this real estate, the ground you're covering, you see there, he's intersecting rise line well below you. And this one, he, he, he brought kind of his apex down. So now, you know, he realizes, you know, we talk about, um, you know, apex above the panel and apex is that where the most turn direction occurs and we want to bring shape back and but when we get to you know flat if it straightens out or if it, and it's flat or flatter well, we can bring apex down to the panel so he's kind of has not as much direction done um he's got half his turn below half his turn above and that's okay at times when it's flatter and straighter that's going to be faster That too, you let it you let it run out. So it was a smoother arc. And here he's going you're really turning around the panel. And obviously you got your apex. Your apex is right there. And this is at the panel. But you don't do that when it's steep. You don't do that when it's really offset, but you do that when it's flat and straighter. Came through here. Relative to the blue lines, you can see, um, you know, he's nowhere near, um, and he's nowhere near the end of the blue line, which is, you know, over here. You're pretty close to it and bring all that shape back, but so you know that's the story. It goes on. 
Um, and we just got to figure out a ways to tighten up that line um, and really practice um, really coming in, hammering the turn to get those short, powerful, powerful arcs. Um, they also have to be, you know, hands forward by the panel, some other things too. Kind of leaning in there, right? So besides line, gotta make sure we're really level by the panel. Wiping the counter. Really don't see the hands driving forward there at all by the gate, right? Here we got nice wide arms for the balance. And yeah, not bad. Yeah, kind of wipe in there. We like that. That's a good one. Again, hands get wide. But it's kind of late. It's more of a hook. And it looks like it's going down too much than out and around in a sweeping manner to try to help us level out, sweep over that downhill ski. Because right, we don't see much angles there. But, you know, bottom line is you made some great turns. Uh, we got to work on that line, which is okay. And, um, you know, you've been training well. Um, I think you just gave this one a little too much respect, maybe a little nervous. But we get another crack at it in a few weeks, and we're going to do a heck of a lot better.